Hi guys, I wanted to make a quick video how to show you how to um, quickly make these beautiful animated AI generated um, videos like this one. Um, it's really simple and I do it with, there is a website called replicate.com that has a lot of different models based on uh, stable diffusion. But the one I use is dforum uh, and it's this dforum slash the forum stable diffusion. That is the model. And um, it uh, takes an input prompt, prompt that is uh, the most important part. So in this case, it took a beautiful forest by the painter Asher Brown Durant and then comma trending on art station. You always put trending on art station, uh, but you don't have to put um, an, uh, an artist. Uh, this is optional. And then it just generates Images based on the artist and on the on the prompt, so you can try literally any artist or any prompt. Uh, you can choose the number of frames. So this one is I think 100 frames and it's 25 seconds long. So you can see it uh, will take a longer time to do like 1,000 frames or like 300 frames, but depending on how long you want it to be, that's uh, the way to go. So for example, I can put in here like uh, um, apple uh, or a uh, uh, just an, an apple by like the painter um, Botero, depending on art station, 100 frames. I can do the zoom like this. So 1.04 is this kind of, of slides in zooming effect. You can put 1.10, it will be like bigger. If you put it below one, it will zoom out. You can put a translation to the X or the I, uh, the Y axis. I'll just put it like this and then uh, submit. And then you see it will run the model. Uh, depending on how long the model is running, um, the, the site will charge you. So I, the first two uh, things you make are free, I think, but after that you gotta um, pay uh, per CPU cycles, but it's, it's not super expensive. You have to couple your, um, your uh, credit cards though to pay, but you pay to the makers of the model and the website. So it goes to a good cost, I think. Um, and if you see some examples, um, you can, for example, see uh, like the one like this. This is very cool also. You can, if you have uh, like this more frames, you have 200 frames and you can give uh, the prompt different uh, examples to run. Uh, based on a frame. So here it says it begins on an apple. At 50 frames, it will change to a beautiful banana. Where is banana here somewhere, I think. Then it goes to a beautiful coconut. And it will make something like a coconut, like over there. And then when I 50, a beautiful durian, like it makes a durian. So you can really change the flow of, of uh, the subject if you want to go it from light to dark or to something else. Um, you can just play with it and, and have some fun. Uh, also, a nice one was like this one. It has no zoom, so the zoom, it's not zero, but they put in one as a zoom factor, so it's not zooming in when you put one. But it has a translation of five, so it's not zooming in, but it's like slightly scrolling to the to the right, and that's uh, also a cool effect. It gives like uh, the animation prompt doesn't give uh, an artist just a, a topic. It's not necessary, uh, and it just picks. It's a beautiful, beautiful example, this one. And you can also go like to the examples and then just say, oh, tweak it and then make it a, a different one, like give it a different subject or zoom in. It's super, super easy and really fun uh, to work with. So see if my uh, example, or did I, did I cancel it by going to the side? I canceled it, so. But I did some I did some cool ones. So I did like a desert um, that's not moving. This it has a zoom of one, so it's not moving. It has no translation, so it's just like changing statically. I had some that I zoomed in a bit, like this one. It has like a, a cactus forest by Ed Malley. He's like he's a painter who paints desert, so uh, it's really funny. There's like a lot of stuff for the for the AI to get the images from. So that's it. Just it's very easy. Play around with it, and uh, I hope you uh, you like this video.